Hey, I'm Tommy Brodro, riding for Supersonic BMW. Uh, I'm going to take you for an onboard lap in the Nissan GTR of Silverstone Arena GP. Yeah, obviously here down, uh, down the start finish line. Um, it, it, it's quite a quite difficult. I know it sounds stupid, but out of the last corner you run out quite wide, so it's quite difficult to get this first corner down into into cops. Is it set up perfect? Um, the entry. It is 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 quite blind. So you enter, you know, into fifth uh, on the BMW. You're coming back two gears, back to back to third. Um, you wait, 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 quite out wide, out wide, out wide, and then you drop it in. Now it is it's known to be very bumpy here, so you you've obviously got to be very careful, like you know, because if you're still trailing the brakes and hard on the brakes, you've got a good chance of tucking the front. On the exit, it's a complete opposite. The exit you instantly have to get on the power almost quite fast and quite hard because the exit opens out you know what what seems quite a tight corner going in on the exit is a complete opposite you know so you have to power out you know get the gears going from um, going from third fourth fifth quite fast through the gearbox then down into into the maggots a fast sort of uh, corners I guess like where it all starts you know this this is where you you know you can gain quite a bit of time and lose quite a bit of time you know so down back back when gear to fourth touch the rumble strip on the left hold it in fourth and just roll let the bike roll around the right and then into then the the next left just before coming back to third gear um, and then entering uh, here the problem with this corner is it's very easy to run out wide um, and then lose all the speed for the for the right hander on this on this corner here. Um, so you have to be almost quite. You have to wait quite a lot because you don't want to run too wide on this corner. You got to pull the bike back really really hard, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, and then wait in the middle, and then bang on the left, run the rumble strip on the left there, and then you can then run the cut, run the cut, run the bike you know really really sort of wide uh, on the exit whilst doing that obviously going through the gears um, you know third fourth fifth and then obviously sig further down really? <laughs> down into here is is quite a uh, it's quite a wide open corner to be honest. You're coming in sick, flat out on the limit of pulling 170, 180 mile an hour, straight back three gears. It's really, really bumpy into this corner. Um, and you've got to get the entry perfect. You know, you can get outbreak in, and it's a massive overtaking opportunity into that corner. So you've got to be fast in and you've got to be able to then enter online. Um, you, you get it online, you apex, you run it, instantly touch the power, you run out wide to the rumble strip. On the BMW, you're coming out there, third, fourth, short shift in, because obviously the track drops away from you. you uh, by short shifting, it allows you to keep the front wheel as low as possible instead of, you know, instead of wheeling. Back two gears into this, um, into this sort of tight chicane here. Um, it's a pretty simple corner. Back two gears, back to second. It's just a start-stop chicane. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing spectacular apart from in the centre, hitting third gear. And then running it out. That this is where this is where it all starts. For instance, you know this is where you can you can lose a second or gain a second. So you run it out wide on this double right hander, and you have gotta pull it back to the apex here. You have gotta be back on the apex because if not, if you're wide on that corner, you'll lose five mile an hour at least down this straight line. So that corner, that double right hander back there, it sets up this this straight. Uh, for, for the for the outright speed um, and then you're coming down here fifth gear back when to fourth and now this is this is obviously another massively fast part of the track coming back back to fourth trail the brake in and then you just got to let the brakes off and trust your bike trust your, trust your setup and trust your tires it's quite bumpy into there is again as well um, but you just got to let the bike roll let the let the brakes off it's not all about letting the brakes off and instantly getting on the power it's about entering fast and just letting the brakes off going from the right to the left all in fourth gear and then being nice and smooth what might not feel very fast 
is actually quite fast, you know. So you've got to be smooth there, and you've got to you've got to let the bike do his almost do his own thing, um, and then back two gears for for this like really sort of tight slow right hander. Another one where you don't you don't need to and don't want to run out wide there. Like you know, even though the track's wide, you don't want to run wide. You want to stay centre of the centre of the corner. A, a short blast on the throttle and then then back to the apex for here. This is like the uh, the, the last double right hander. You've got to make the first apex. If you don't make the first apex, you're instantly wide. You short shift third now, second third, run it out wide and then wait and you almost wait a real long time and then pull it back then quite hard make the apex it, it is crucial there again because if you don't make the apex yet again you'll then lose another five mile an hour down this straight and obviously when you add that up it it it, uh, it it's silverstone of all places you know you, you, if you're losing five mile an hour five mile an hour in in three points that accumulates to half a second on track so you've got to get those three exits uh, 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 massively important around this around this Silverstone track. Down into here, in fifth gear, on the limiter, just touching the limiter, back to instantly, get the engine braking on the bike, really hard on the brakes into here, really, really sort of slowing up. You, you instantly run out wide, you're out wide, 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 and then late, last minute, you apex then, it almost quite late, What it doesn't feel right, but you apex late, you then middle of the track and you give it a short from the left to the right, you go and then pull it, pull it back hard. I apex there really early and then instantly then run back out wide because even though it looks one corner, as a on a bike it's two corners. So you apex, run out wide, and then at the last minute you apex again and then come come out and then power out hard out onto the onto the rumble strip here. Short shift third, fourth, fifth, and then fifth, and then you really, really power hard into this last corner. And as you want the bike to turn, roll the power, let the bike turn in, and then bang hard on the power then. You know, this is not quite flat out fifth gear. Wheel spinning out of here, like you can't even imagine, out to the rumble strip, still absolutely flat out. And then obviously then sets you up then for again into the first corner.